downhill a bit. So people didn't get attracted to the snow, they would make the first highest far too small. But if you zoom in, you see how far it goes, it goes up to there, the modelling we're doing now. Basically all that is modelled now, see that there? This is like the membrane, all that there is what we're doing now. So make sure these are big enough, these areas are big enough. Does it meet the brow, or is there a gap between the brow and the... It, it, it can meet the brow, yeah. The shape of the brow is really important, that's where a lot of the expression is. Also note the direction of the, um, the brush strokes. Which direction are those brush strokes going? Going yeah, that way, sort of radiating out. Mm -hmm. Turning round slightly. Here, which, they're going that way. Here, they're going that way. Here they're going that way. So even if it's all black and white, you could just tell from the direction the form, a bit like an etching. It's a bit of etching, isn't it? You sort of follow the form, what you can. Engraving, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The nose, you've got to be careful because you, you want to um, keep to the left. It's about two thirds of the way across. You'll find, especially in a warming like this, the water evaporates quite quickly, so you'll find as time goes on, if you're not careful, your mix will get um, stronger and stronger. Because water's evaporating, so once in a while add a touch of water in to replace what's evaporated. Do you mean two-thirds of the width? Yeah, the roughly, yeah. And don't necessarily slavishly follow your drawing. All the time you can improve. Think, oh, now it's too wide there, or I can improve it there. So you can, at this stage, you can, you know, if your line is too far over, you can just use a stronger mix of this and push it over. Sorry, you mean to widen? Have yeah, let's just widen? say your, your line here may have been too far over. Yeah. Okay. So you can go over this way. Well, if your line is too far that way, just ignore it and put your eye out there, mm -hmm. so you, you can adjust. Okay, so you do that everywhere. You, I found with each layer, you've got to do it twice. So that, see how that, that was really quite white in the beginning, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So that needs another, another layer. I really do need a good two, I'll have another hunt for a good two. So now I'll start to blend that edge out, so I've dried the brush and I'm sort of feathering it a bit. I've even washed a bit to take a bit more out. In most areas, what we're after is, um, is green, your membrane, this first highlight, and then your subsequent highlight. So you want a bit of the membrane poking out. Later on, we'll put a wash of, of vermilion and yellow, or red and yellow, and so you've got green, really orange, yellow, red, and yellow, white. Green and red, what are they? Complementary. Okay, yeah, so that gives a nice sort of liveliness. And you can, you can also contrast one side in something more green, the other side more red. Can anyone guess which side the red would be on the closest or the furthest? Closest. 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 Why? Because it brings it forward. Yeah, red is coming out, the extrovert green is neutral and the seeds so was cool. Yeah. So within a given area you can go to green, to red, to orange, but also over the whole face you can vary. Okay, that's probably, obviously I'm going to work on that, but don't need to take up more of your time. Okay? Thank you.